I started a successful drop shipping business as a full-time college student at age 18. Here's how I did it. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Zach, and if you're new to the channel, learn all the secrets of the e-commerce world simply by subscribing to my channel and hitting that little bell icon so you don't miss anything. And today, I'm covering a topic that a lot of people are constantly inquiring about, and it's relevant to a good portion of my viewers, so I figured I would make a video on it. And that video is starting a dropshipping business, really any business in general, but in this context, a dropshipping business, as a full-time college student. So if you are in college, you know that it takes up a huge portion of your time. And if you don't want to fail out and you actually want to get good grades, you need to focus largely on school. So a lot of people find it very, very difficult to actually get a business going, especially in the dropshipping world where you need to put a lot of time and effort into it to actually see it succeed. And amazingly, I managed to do that. I'm going to tell you exactly how I did that. So I'm going to be talking about three main things here and really these all time back into time. Time is the most valuable resource that you have as a human on this planet, okay? Wasting time is just wasting your life, and you only have one shot at life, so why would you waste it doing something that you don't particularly enjoy or isn't bettering your life in any way, right? So that's the main idea that we're going to be focusing on here. We really want to maximize our time and use it to the best of our ability to better not only ourselves and to live an enjoyable life, but to also set up a business that will then help us in the future. Future, right? I always kind of saw it as an investment of my time because I definitely wasn't seeing results right at the start of things, but I knew that the time that I put into my business would be rewarded in the end. And that's why I get so peeved by people being like, oh, I've put like five minutes into my dropshipping website and I haven't gotten any sales. What's wrong? It's like, dude, put more time into things. It's going to pay off if you try, but things don't just come to you. Anyway, I digress. Let's talk about point number one, and that is that you need a plan. Well, I definitely I'm always an advocate for jumping into things and getting started very, very soon and not wasting time just kind of with the pedally crap, like getting motivation or whatever. You definitely do need to plan before jumping into things. And this actually saves you time in the long run. Now, the reason behind making a plan and how this saves time is because when you have a plan, you know exactly what you're going to do, right? Duh, that's the definition of a plan. But you follow this checklist and these points that you've already made beforehand to where you're not really spending your time thinking about the next step, right? You already have it planned out. And of course, you're not going to know every single thing that's going to happen, right? Your business could take off sooner. It could take a more time to take off. Uh, just things can come up. So you're definitely going to see some discrepancies in your plan and what's actually happening. However, in the big picture, when you have a plan and you have an idea for what you're going to do, it will save you a ridiculous amount of time. And that's what I did. I actually spent a long time researching online, thinking about how I'm going to structure my business, seeing how other businesses are structured, coming up with a bit of a marketing plan, and then finally launching my business. There was a good month of time from deciding that I'm going to get into dropshipping to actually launching my store and even further time before I got my first sale, but that's a whole other story in itself. Um, and all of that time was not only spent just planning things out, but it is also putting things into action. And this is something that I really need to address to you guys, is that you can't just make a Shopify store in five hours and then launch it and expect to have sales, no. To build up a legitimate long-term business, it takes time, it takes trial and error, and it takes a lot of effort and creativity. And this is where a lot of people fail because they don't think that these things are necessary. They think that they can just get rich quick and not plan any of this stuff, but that's entirely wrong. If you want a long-term business like the one I have going for me right now, you need to focus on making a solid brand behind your business. All right, number two, and this is straight up time, and it is time management. This is ridiculously important. So I myself am an engineering major, industrial engineering to be exact, and engineering majors are very, very demanding and time consuming. And if I didn't nail time management, I would be ridiculously behind on either my academics or my business. And it's the fact that I was able to manage my time effectively 
uh, that really put me ahead and allowed me to be successful. And so I see a lot of people doing this. They're like, oh, I want to start a business, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all in on it. I'm going to put a ton of effort and I'm just going to kind of put my studies off to the side, like do my assignments and everything, but not really focus on it, right? That is entirely wrong. And of course, you're going to hear entrepreneurs be like, oh yeah, drop out of college or you need to go all in on your business. And while I do agree that you need to go all in on your business, you need to do it to an extent. And if you are in college, your chances are, unless you have a full ride, which even then is a ridiculously good uh, opportunity, you need to actually take your education seriously. So what I did was I would always put school first and fill in my free time with my business, okay? And really, if you spend your time on school and you do assignments when they're supposed to be due, and you just make sure that you're on top of your game, you're going to have a lot of free time to focus on your business. What I see a lot of people doing is they do their schoolwork and then they fill up a lot of their time with just kind of crap, either just sitting around or getting like that motivation, like watching people like Gary V and just trying to get like hyped up. That doesn't work. Okay. You do your schoolwork, whatever, and then you get really passionate about your business and you work on that. It's incredible how much free time you have in the day that you can put towards your business. And I see this happen to me all the time, even today. It's something that I still struggle with sometimes to where I realize that I've been sitting around and I could have made a couple videos in the time that I was sitting around, but it just totally time gets away from me. And this is something that you really need to work on and you don't need to be perfect, but you really need to hone in your time management skills. So when I got my school and my business life in balance, I found that I was able to work on my business for several hours a day. And in this time, I was still able to go to bed at around 10, 11 o'clock at night and wake up at around five or 6 a.m. and then just continue the cycle. And it was ridiculous how much free time I was able to have. And just besides doing schoolwork and doing my business, I was able to hang out with friends. It was crazy. People don't think this is possible, but if you just cut out all the crap that you put into your life and you really focus on the things that you need to get done, you will get them done so fast. Now, there's a few ways that you can really optimize your time management. And these are the few things that I used. First of all, I would always plan out my homework, my tests, and anything that I had to get done with life in general. Keep a schedule. Keeping the schedule allowed me to know what things I really needed to get done. And this is a bit of a side piece here, but when you're in school, deadlines are things that need to get done. When you're working on your business, it's not absolutely necessary to do the stuff right now, right? Unless you have like a shout out planned and you need to make a post, then obviously, yeah, that's time sensitive. But uh, pretty much everything with school, you have a deadline for. So when you plan that in your planner, you're able to see what you need to get done, finish those things a few days ahead, and then you find spaces in your calendar where you're entirely free and you know you're free, and then you can see, oh, okay, so I'm gonna be working a lot now, but I could see in a few days, I'm going to have a lot of time to focus on actually what I wanna be doing. And then you do that, and it's absolutely crazy, and it just helps your entire life in general, not only your business development. All right, and the second strategy that I use is called the Pomodoro Technique. And you may not have heard of this, and you may have heard of it, but basically, what this is, is it is a study strategy and it's really meant to maximize um, efficiency and effectiveness with what you're doing. So basically what it is, is you cut your time into 30 minute blocks, okay? So let's say I'm studying for a math test. For 25 minutes, I will study math. I will not have my phone. I will not have any distractions. You can have music playing, but that's it. Absolutely no distractions, dead on focus for 25 minutes. Then every after that 25 minutes, you have a five minute break for doing whatever you want, whether it be watching a YouTube video, texting some friends, whatever five minutes of just hanging around and then boom, after that five minutes is done, phone away, computer locked down except for what you're doing and then get to work. Now I did this primarily for schoolwork, but it's also ridiculously good if you're doing some type of grinding task on your business. And this makes work seem more like a game than anything because you're just working and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, I can screw around a little bit and then you screw around and then it's like, oh, back to work and your brain just gets in this mode. And once you've done this for a 
few days or a few weeks, it's ridiculously effective. And this is how you make the most of your time, right? I need to make an entire video on time management. I'm definitely going to because this part of the video is really long, but it's super important. And once again, time management is the most important thing you can possibly be good at if you want to start a business in college. Okay, and number three, and this kind of ties into number two, but it definitely deserves its own section. And that's making sure that no business or no thing that you're doing has a significant weight over the other thing. And what I mean by this is you don't want your business to entirely outweigh your schoolwork and importance in your life, but you also don't want to focus so much on school that you can't put enough time into your business. And let me talk about both of these things very briefly. So let's say you are spending way too much time on your business over schoolwork. Well, I already touched on this, but basically what's going to happen is that your grades are going to fail. And you are in college because you are there to get a higher education, okay? Don't go, don't pay all the money to go, and then totally ignore your studies. It may not feel important, but it is ridiculously important. And also, getting this degree and getting this higher education is a fantastic cushion for if you fi feel that your entrepreneur type business or whatever you're doing isn't necessarily for you in the future, you will have this thing to fall back on. It is a great cushion, and then you don't have the stress of having to focus entirely on your business and depend on that to succeed for you to live, right? But you also want to make sure that you're not focusing too much on schoolwork because with business, you can't just half-ass it, okay? If you just work on a side project a little bit and hope for it to take off, the chances of that happening are ridiculously low. You need to be immensely dedicated to your business to have it succeed. And this is what allowed me to be very successful. A day would not go by where I wouldn't work on my business. Whether, even if I didn't do anything physically, I would be brainstorming ideas. I would be coming up with new tactics for myself to use. I would just always be thinking about my business while also making sure that all my schoolwork was done. So while it may not be the first thing on my mind, it is always on my mind just in general and I was constantly improving myself. And it's this healthy weight of importance that I put on my schoolwork and my business that really helped me out. And it got me in the mindset to where I didn't feel like I was wasting time doing schoolwork, and I also didn't feel like I was wasting time working on my business when it wasn't profitable. Okay, this time is definitely an investment as I stated in the first part of this video. And you need to make sure that you just have all your ducks in a row, you know your priorities, and then you work towards those and you don't get distracted. So those are the keys to my success as a full-time college student. If you haven't started your Shopify yet, I have a 14-day free trial in the description. If you liked what I said and how I said it, hit that subscribe button down below and check out those videos over there. They're pretty important. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.